Kano State Government transmits a new bill on the creation of four new emirates. Weeks after a Kano State High Court nullified the creation of four emirates by Governor Abdullahi Ganduje, the Kano State Governor has transmitted a fresh bill for the creation of four new emirates. The governor said uh, that Kano State Executive Council discussed an age-long clamor for the establishment of additional emirates in the state with a view to bringing more development to the people of the new emirates. Okay. All right. Uh, are we looking at another case of... Uh, 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 let me not call him um, by his name. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I, I think um, Nigerians should be careful and I, I, when I say Nigerians, I mean leadership of mm -hmm. Nigeria. Should be careful the, level, the type of precedence we set at time. At the point where uh, the court had granted Mr. Showare bill, but the executive arm of the government decided not to, to release him. Okay. They chose the court order to align it. Mm. The same thing is what is this, this incident is following as a precedent. Now. Okay. There is a court order that has said that that should this incident should be should be suspended should be nullified. The actually, the executive arm of the government felt like they can do as they wish already since the people at the federal level chose what whatever court uh, order they want to align with. Mm. They choose which one that suits them. All right, and, and this whole thing smells of impunity. But impunity, then, yes. how does the creation of new emirates? How does it advance the people of Kano State? That's my it's question. Personal thing that uh, uh -huh. we don't know how what, the whole the, thing that played out. That played yeah. Out. So it's mm -hmm. when you are using your, the system, the the bar system of the society to benefit yourself mm -hmm. to solve personal vendetta against one person. Mm. And it's not going to hold water. He has just four years. Mm. After that four years, he's gone. Okay. He said Prince Chilaka, well, time. You, you know, I, I would say this, that so long as we have a system that can be manipulated, yes. these problems will continue to be there. Mm. A governor or a president or a senator, we need to understand that governance is a continuum. Mm -hmm. But what we have in Nigeria is that I come in as a governor, I throw whatever I meet on the floor, and I start my own agenda. Mm -hmm. And then I do it for four, four years, for eight years. We need to really change this mindset of everybody wants to do two terms. How did we get to that point where somebody who has not performed is doing two She's terms? Re-elected. I mean, it's, 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 it's it. For me, it's, 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 it's complete mediocrity. Okay. Mazi. Yeah, I think uh, last week we discussed about um, the Sovereign Court orders. International, mm -hmm. I mean, international, I said the president had yeah. disobeyed 40. 40. And mm -hmm. I said it's more than 40. I mm -hmm. think I said that. Then I also went for that to say that it's not only the president, the governors. And that was how this thing. It's a situation where we are operating under severe impunity. Nobody cares. Me, me alone. He did that to run down the enemy of Kano. That's an issue. And I know Kano very, very well. I know Kano very well. The day Kano riot to start, I'm not, pre I'm not predicting it, but he should be very careful. The court has said, please, this should not take place. And he went ahead. It's not something all of us have said here. Impunity, disobeying court orders. Hmm. What do you expect? Well, let us see uh, what happened. Mm -hmm. Because even the politicians, are, they, they are doing the same thing. All right. Our time is almost up. Let's see if we can read a few more feedbacks. Uh, we welcome the message of Aisha Buhari. But what is her position in Kogi election where she put all support to Yahya Bello and no comment on the killings? It can now from just send that one. Frank again is a question of like father, like son. He is copying his brother at the center. Okay, let there be a death penalty for the embezzlement of constituency project fund. So says Folabi Banji from Lagos. This country is a real joke. How do you expect the country to grow when these ruling are greedy and self-centered? Good afternoon, everyone. Chidozie from Ejigbo. All right, this one says uh, GSM of your state is working. I wish other governors emulate him. GSM, that's an acronym for somebody's name. Uh, Shei Makinde, I guess. Okay. Ajibola from Oyoste. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure now. All right. Um, 
If from Ijabe in Oshun State, in Nigeria situation, everyone is guilty. Sin is a reproach, while righteousness, righteousness exalts a nation. Ajiboye Ijabe sent that one in.